Community reporting is a digital storytelling movement that uses lived experience as a means of creating social change. In the COSY project, it has been used as an applied research tool for co-creation in public services across Europe. These pilot services have spanned a range of sectors from probation to health and social care, rural development to employment support. Each have embedded community reporting in their own ways, working with citizens, public service workers, strategic managers, policy makers and wider community stakeholders to share stories as a way of gathering insight, creating dialogue and supporting reflection. We used community reporting as, as our starting point, as really the base of what we're doing. Um, so the impact of, of uh, community reporting is actually uh, changing the agenda of what we thought uh, we were going to do. So that's uh, profound. The, the way you're representing with people talking uh, was much more powerful and uh, uh, pushing for action. It is also helps participants uh, uh, to articulate their uh, minds in connection their uh, permanent situation or previous situation and uh, they are able to uh, articulate their results and uh, not only uh, on, a, on the surface but on deeper level also. Tällä hetkellä minun elämä on aika vaikea. Lähinnä johtuu kunnallisen terveydenhuollon semmoista epätasa-arvoistamisesta. Mulla on syntyperäinen sydänvika ja uniapnea, joiden tutkimuksiin ei yksinkertaisesti löydy kunnallisella puolella resursseja. Ja olen anonut sitä jo pitemmän aikaa, mutta yksinkertaisesti homma vaan ei lähde etenemään määräytyllä tavalla. Ja se vaikuttaa joka päivä sen elämään. No kauanko siinä on kestänyt? Nyt on kestänyt semmoinen kahdesta kolme vuotta, että ei niin kuin ole se tutkimus siitä niin kuin edentynyt. Minulla on todettu kyllä kaikki, mutta esimerkiksi tämmöinen niin kuin... Asia voi olla väldigt rastad, och exempel på det är ju att varje morgon när personalen kommer in till mig och skriver min medicin så frågar de hur mår du på en skala 1 till 10? Och det finns en sak de skulle kunna göra annorlunda. Och det är väl att säga jag att jag bor fem alltså på den här skalan och jag kanske undviker ögonkontakt och är allmänt nere så ska jag ställa en följdfråga, är det verkligen sant? Och det är väl liksom det. Och sen så tycker jag väl att man ska se människan. Uh, ja, deze mevrouw zag een kans in me. Die, uh, ze was ook heel eerlijk gezegd, okay, ik heb meer sollicitanten en die zijn op papier veel gekwalificeerder. Maar door ons gesprek denk ik dat jij het geschikt bent. Dus je moet gewoon maar net een gek hebben die denkt, nou dat is wel een leuke andere insteek. Uh, um, want ja, je, je kan misschien beter iemand aannemen die daadwerkelijk business management of event management heeft gedaan. Uh, dus ik heb gewoon heel erg mazzel gehad met haar. Uh, Nou ja, ik denk dan toch misschien een stukje mensenkennis of zo, dat ze denkt, oh nou ja, misschien dat dat toch een betere keuze is. Dus uh, ja, mazzel eigenlijk. So it helped them uh, to go out to speak with people. Uh, they started uh, to believe that they can actually change something and they can influence their neighborhood. One thing that I was really amazed by was that we did such simple things, but we managed to get like people actually like opening up, especially Estonians. It's like really hard to like break the ice, like just by sharing your own stories and like by just like making the space really comfortable and like warm and like just like cozy for them. You could see how much they opened up. It has enabled us to um, really get the meaning of these people, of what they really are saying. So hearing the voices of the of the people that are maybe not heard always. What I really like about it is really listening to the voices of those people directly rather than putting it through the medium of various panels and councils, which is what people have been used to. And it's produced a really powerful set of stories and some key messages that we're really hopeful that um, people will take notice of either in individual practice and the work they do day to day, but also in terms of um, managerial approach and the support that they give to their staff and policies around that.